In his apartment, Jan Gurupe gets his results back from the neutron activator in Hungary. He's able to compare the chemical composition of the parts with the chemical composition of the clay quarries of Israel. As he scans the results, the news is truly startling. The Roman jar has been proven by the data I just get back over here that it is made on the spot, in Qumran itself. It's not important from anywhere. No. This jar was made in Qumran. The scroll jars found in the cave have all the same chemical composition and they have nothing to do with anything that we have analyzed from Jerusalem itself. No? And we have analyzed materials from the 9th century BC until the destruction of the temple. So we have covered, let me say, something like 2,000 years of pottery making. This means that the scroll jars did not come from Jerusalem. And if they did not come from Jerusalem, the scrolls were not transported in them from Jerusalem. In all probability, the scrolls were moved in their jars from the library in Qumran to the caves as the Romans approach. This simple experiment has settled one of the major debates surrounding the Dead Sea Scrolls. And whatever the significance of the Hebrew letters on the Roma jar, they do not signify that the jar came from Rome or that there is any connection with Christianity.